Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about printing out our scores, our musical scores in Pro Tools. All right, so today's going to be a shorty video. Right now I'm between Christmas and New Year's. It's the 29th, so I'm in that kind of like half working, half not working kind of holiday mode. So I hope everyone's having a good holiday season. But what I wanted to show you today is pretty quick. So I have this session open. I do have some MIDI in this session. So you can see I have a bunch of MIDI tracks here. These are pretty much all strings. So I think it's all uh, Spitfire strings plugins. So this one is the Intimate Strings one. I have the BBC Symphony Orchestra one. Um, I don't know what else I have in here. It might just kind of be both of those. Uh, more strings that are actually muted, but that's fine. Um, so I have a bunch of MIDI tracks in here. And the thing is, when you have MIDI tracks in Pro Tools, you can open up something called the Score Editor window. And so we've talked about that in a previous video. I will link a card to that up on the screen. I know it's a really old video, so... <laughs> you know, take it or leave it. But what I wanted to show you today is how you can open up that score editor window. I wanted to look at it really briefly and then show you how to print from it. So that's the big thing today is printing that score. All right, so there are two ways that you can open this score editor window. So you can hold down control, hold down option, and then hit equals on your keyboard, and that will open it up. Or I'm gonna close it out here to show you. You can also go to window and then find it on this list. So here it is, score editor. And then you can open it up. And you can see here, I just have a bunch of rests, but that's because these strings don't come in in the beginning of the song. So I should see some musical notes. Yep, if I start going between the different pages here. So it's converted all my MIDI notes into musical notation. I did not do this, Pro Tools did this for me. It's something that Pro Tools automatically does with MIDI music. So I have, uh, what, four pages, five pages? Oh, this is kind of long actually. Anyway, it's converted all of this into musical notation. And if I want to print it, all I have to do is do command P. So that might be obvious to some people. I don't know, but I wanted to mention it because I've had people ask me about it online. I've wondered about it a few times, you know, but it's just command P will help you print things. I don't have a printer here, but if you had a printer, you can select it here and then send it to the printer. What I do if I have to do this is I will just save it as a PDF. So you'll notice that print isn't highlighted. A lot of apps, if you choose PDF, you, you'll, you can just hit print and it'll save it to your computer. It'll give you that option instead of going to the printer. But with Pro Tools, what you have to do is you have to click right here on this little drop down and then just go save as PDF. And then I can save it. So I'm just gonna save it to my downloads folder here. I'm gonna do test sheet music, all one word like an old person. And then I'm gonna hit save. You can add some metadata here if you want, but I'm just gonna hit save. And there we go, it saved it for me. So now if we open up my finder window, I can go to that downloads folder that I have. I'm just gonna sort it by the date added. So today, here we are, test sheet music. Let's take a look at it. So it looks pretty good. There it is in all its glory. So yeah, that's how you can print out or save a PDF version of your score in Pro Tools. So this is great if you want to work in collaboration with a musician, you can save this out and send it to them or give them the sheet music and have them record a nice acoustic version. For example, if you'd rather have an acoustic version over a MIDI instrument, it's a great way to do that. And again, I do have another video where I talk about the score editor, so I'm not going into all the details here for the score editor itself, but I will have linked to that in the description as well as in the cards here in this video somewhere. So you can check that out. Let me know if you want more information on the score editor. I know it's one of those things in Pro Tools that a lot of people don't really use. Um, so, I, you know, sometimes I'm not sure if I should go into it that much or not, but it is there. It is helpful um, if you want to dig into it. And the cool thing about it is, you know, like, I mean, I, I know how to read sheet music. I uh, went through a four-year music program, but um, a lot of people haven't, and it can be very challenging, and it can be um, a much slower process for some people. I know that. So uh, the, it's pretty great how you don't have to be the one to enter the notes here yourself. You know, you can enter the notes using a MIDI keyboard, and then it, Pro Tools will translate it for you. So I think that's pretty rad. But um, other than that, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And we have a Discord server that a lot of us have been hanging out on. That's where the book club is that we've been doing, the audio engineering book club. We meet in the voice channel about once a week and chat about audio stuff. And sometimes we talk about the book. I mean, we usually talk about the book to some extent. But um, my patrons also get early release videos, um, sometimes some additional content. Mostly that's been the Discord server lately. So if that sounds cool to you, 
please check that out. It helps support my channel. It helps keep things going here. And uh, thank you to my Patreon patrons. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks so much for hanging out. Happy almost New Year. I guess it'll be after New Year for you guys. So happy New Year. Okay. So on Christmas Day, I decided to try to <laughs> curl my hair for the first time um, in years by myself. I've had like girlfriends curl my hair for me or help me curl my hair, but I don't really usually do that myself. And so I, I busted out this curling wand, curling iron. What is it called? Anyway, it was a gift. I, I have one. It was given to me. And um, I busted it out and I was trying to use it and I burnt my thumb. So now like part of my thumb skin is just uh, missing there because I am a clumsy, I'm a clumsy Kato. So um, that's my new exciting story. It's my new battle wound. Um, I don't know what else is new. There's a new version of Pro Tools. I just ran the update yesterday. It came out two days ago and it's been working really well. I had a session yesterday and we were just mixing. Actually, no, we recorded too. <laughs> we were recording too and it was going well. Um, but it's been going well on this computer even before I ran the update, but I'm really happy now. It, I think it is officially compatible with my, uh, system cause I got that new Mac studio recently. So I was, I was a little worried about it cause they um, shipped it with Ventura. It was supposed to come with Monterey. I, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into it. But I did run the Pro Tools update, so I'm wondering what everyone else thinks about it. Um, it's been going pretty well. I haven't dug into all the details of what's new in it other than the compatibility thing. That was enough for me to do it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, bye.